Hello cycling fans, uh, today I'm going to try this uh, special uh, muffler, you can call it a furry uh, mount on my Endor mic and let's see how well it is uh, suppressing the wind Okay, I'm at the same place, Kapak G Okay, doing my regular rounds Okay, with the muffler, let's see if I take it out. Okay, I hope you can hear me. And I hope that there's no wind sound. Let's try going faster a bit, about 30 kilometers per hour. Okay, so I haven't changed to my big chain ring yet. Changed to my big chain ring. Okay, do you hear the wind? I'm trying to speak as uh, normal as possible. No shouting, no whispering or what. Just normal, and hopefully, you'll be able to hear what I say. <laughs> okay, what I like about this camera is you just set it up and you press record, and that's it. You don't have to do anything, no framing required. You do that afterwards. Okay, into the PCN. Should be much quieter now with the PCN in the PCN. Hope it doesn't rain when I get to the other side of Fort Road. I mean, not the other side, when I get to Fort Road. Well, sometimes you have to take the risk. The risk of putting a camera or not putting a camera. So I remove my bike cam because I already mount this 360 cam, should be enough. I think the wind is still not so loud. Once you get to Tanamera Coastal Road, then we will see. Okay, I'm coming up to Bedok Reservoir, not Bedok Reservoir. I'm coming up to the uh, Bedok Jetty. So it's right there. Oh, very few people today. I guess it's because it's a Monday. Okay. Yeah, here.
not many cyclists. That will be a good test or so to ride beside the uh, expressway because with the loud sound of the vehicles on the road on the expressway, I want to see if it's effective. At the moment, the Endeavour mic is set to level 7, which means from the level 0, I just click 7 times up. So I try not to take too high because I do not want any distortion on my voice. And also I'm trying to control, not to shout. Okay. Bodo Jetty. Seems there are a lot of people in Bodo Jetty, but why not? Just go one round. Whew. Look at that. So many people. Wow. See cyclists just turn out without looking. You just have to look out for them because they don't look out for you. Okay, this uncle here. Hopefully, it doesn't make a U turn. See, I'm riding out into the sea. Well, now they even have shelters here for fishermen. I haven't been here for ages, so might be here for a long time already. Pretty nice. I guess if I free view, people can hear me. So it's good to free view. At least I get some noise. So you have a baby here. Okay, fishing. So if you want fish here, nice place to fish. Look at that. We are out into the sea. Okay. Side. Looks like the clouds are coming, so I have to get ready to keep the camera. Actually, it's waterproof. The only thing, the end over is not waterproof. Okay, you can hear there's a lot of wind already. Can you hear me? I'm saying that the end over might not be waterproof, so and the contact. Uh, USB contact cover has been removed so it's not waterproof anymore so I think if it drizzles I'll just have to keep everything in my plastic bag in my back pocket I don't know whether you can hear me or not because of the wind you can feel that the wind is very strong Okay, back to the PCN. Sounds like a bird or an owl. Well, at least today, more people than compared to Friday. Friday, as it was drizzling, I was riding in the, in, in the 
in the rain and the roads here were wet, was wet, were wet, and rode all the way on the park connector. Okay. Okay, what is the regular maintenance? Okay, question on regular maintenance of my bike. I think this bike is quite maintenance uh, free. The only thing I maintain is the chain. I use the wet loop. Okay, I think I mentioned this already. Do it. Actually, I should do it once you cycle in the rain. Once you better we grease it again or we loop it again with the finish line wet loop. I was wondering if my light is on. Yep, it's on. Okay, now I'm on the road. I look out for cars. Use my, using my rear view mirror and take care of, look at the driver who is coming out like that. See, he right, right to you. I guess cycling is better than walking. Walking, I could feel my knee hurts. Especially when I climb up the steps. But cycling is rotational. I don't feel the pain at all. Today is a cool day to ride. Okay, now we can hear the noises coming from the expressway. I don't know how clear you can hear me, but the expressway is different from wind. The muffler will not work. The muffler is only for wind. But at least the wind sound is reduced with the muffler or with the furry I always have this feeling that I'm so reluctant to go out riding because I'm tired, I'm sleepy. But once you're out, you feel good. So, the important thing for you is to break that momentum of laziness. So, just get out and ride. And once you have completed your ride, you will feel so satisfied. Yeah, really satisfied every time okay there's a car coming out from the car park i hope he comes out first oh he's not coming out
to scoot it a bit further up. This stick is really long. This is a 1.2 millimeter selfie stick. Sorry, 1.2 meters selfie stick. But when I'm riding on the bike, I don't need that long. I know I don't even pull one meter or even half a meter. Yeah, maybe half a meter, yes. It's a car behind me. Another car. You just gotta be aware of your surroundings. Don't expect people to look at, out for you. Look out for them. Traffic lights. Okay, it's green. Rolling. Drink. The opposite side is very rough, the road. This side is okay. Whew. It's so nice, the weather. It's not hot. It's so cooling. Hardly will you get a dry day that is so cooling. No sun at all. Okay, good. The car has come out. Okay, what gear combo am I on? 5217, 3.1 ratio. Oh. Another lorry behind me. I'll occupy the middle of the road until he's about to overtake. Therefore, he's forced to slow down before he overtakes.
Okay, let him go first. Since he's starting a rush, I'll just let him go. Since he's already accelerating, this is how you predict. Pass. Don't race with them. You know, this, this road is narrow. Just slow down and let them pass. Okay, I'm going back into the PCN. Okay, which means I have to pull back this trick, this this thing. Okay. Pull back a bit more. Have a drink. See, I can't push hard. Once I push hard, I can feel the knuckles of my knee begin to creak. Okay, what's my gear combo again? 52-21 Which is a good combination for PCM rides Allows you to spin higher while going slower How's my furry? Yep, it's okay of joggers maybe they are from the same society came out to run together or what just like we ride with WCR but nowadays no more group rides that is bigger than 10 yeah the new rule now we're not supposed to ride more than 10 in a group on a double lane and Single file, not more than five in a row. That's the law. You have to obey it. So no matter what, try to break your group up. If you see the head group is already more than 10 for two way and five for one way carriage. The reason is, so that you don't block the cars when they are turning or filtering to the left so you leave a gap in between but the question is every cyclist is an individual is that really practical it's, it's not like we are riding in a car with one driver everybody is their own driver everybody has his own mind or her own mind so how do you expect everyone to be so observant to see if there's 10 of people in the group in front of them already? It's hard, right? Okay, back to the road. Back to the road. Means I can pull it out.
You see, when you have the endower mic, you don't have to worry how far the X3 is from you. The camera can be very far away and your voice will be as clear as if it was just in front of you. The only drawback with the Endover mic is the volume and also the thickness. It's not as thin as the Rode wireless. So I had to do some self improvements to mount it. Not using the Pizan, the Ilanzi. But okay, not using the Elanzi uh, adapter, but I just went to the hardware shop, get an L bracket, double sided the whole endower onto the side of the L bracket, and have the other side enlarging the hole and mount it through the selfie stick. So, at least that helps to hide more of the endower. In fact, whenever when I use the lens guard, it seems that there are more of the wireless microphone receivers being able to be seen. Somehow, the, or rather the lens guard actually doesn't hide that much. Without the lens guard, it's much better. There's a bicycle in front of bicycle in behind me. It's pretty fast. I don't know whether he will notice that I'm having an X3. Let's see when he overtakes. I'm just going to ride at my normal speed. I think one thing good about riding is a lot of things just run through your mind. And sometimes you get to think about your work Sometimes you get to think about your hobbies, how you're going to do something about it. Okay, my hobby is flying drones. So now my next challenge is to modify my drone to a digital video so that I can see, uh, see through my goggles a much clearer image of where I'm flying. Well, that's another topic altogether. You can visit my channel entitled KM Drone Stuff. KM spells K-A-Y-E-M, like this channel. And you will see all my drone videos in there. Another challenge for my this drone is to be able to overlay the information on my screen on a digital screen so that I know the battery voltage, I know various information like signal strength, video clarity, video channel, and etc etc even GPS coordinates home point distance to home all this can be stored not stored lah it can be stored in your goggles when you're recording it and I can overlay it 
over the video just like I overlay the Garmin Vert with my GPX data but there's a car coming out wonder if you'll give way to me yes he saw me okay thank you Oh, it's red light. Now I have high expressway noise. I also have wind noise. So not sure if you can hear me clearly. I try to speak as clearly and slowly as possible. Well, there is something, this is something that I have to practice. To speak slowly and clearly. Okay, I'm just going to keep quiet for a while and try to concentrate on riding at 30 km per hour with this headwind. Time to drink. Oh, the hay is bad.
Okay. The wind is so strong. I can hardly push 30. 29. 30, 29. Okay, per hour. I don't know if you can hear me. It's such a loud wind sound. Hope the furry works. the slopes The wind is so strong. Now it's like pushing my bike sideways. So the worst is side wind. You feel like somebody is pulling you sideways. Oh. I'm on the 52.17. 
cadence is pretty low. Cannot push any higher. Yeah. Head wind is pretty strong. Not as strong as just now, but still strong. Every 10 seconds, just glance back. See if there's any new traffic coming towards you. Back to Kapak G. Kapak G, starting point. Now we're going east towards Sana Mera, Coastal Road. Oh. The wind is strong on the PCM. Trying to keep it to 25 km per hour. I can feel that the wind is pulling my bike sideways. No joke. A very strong wind. hear me now it is so loud the wind I can hardly hear myself but if the ferry is working then you can able to hear me okay let's go press for the lights Win. I hope it doesn't rain. I don't want to keep the camera. Ugh. <sighs> 
I hope the rain will stop for now. That was flat in Malaysia, especially in Johor. Thousand over people were evacuated from their homes, and that's serious. Something has to be done about the drainage there. I hope uh, the Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim will be able to think of something. For the people, it's a people prime minister. Oh, there's a cyclist behind me. Look at this tree, so dangerous for tall cyclists. The last time I rode, I couldn't clip in because my cleats were damaged. I found out later. So now I'm going to demonstrate again. Okay, first, sorry, I normally click in with this leg, 
Okay. First, you put your leg behind the top of the okay, pedal. Then you feel it, you roll it, and then you slide it in and you step down. As simple as that. You have to learn how to feel the pedal with your shoes. Roll it up and slide it in. Step it down. Roll it up, slide it in, step it down. If okay, remember. Very strong wind. So strong this hit wind. Maybe this X3 extend it up this way. It's creating a drag. A drag or even trying to push me off course because the wind is X in X as a, like a sail to the side wind. But now the wind has slowed down, so it's okay.
trying to take to this bar is quite difficult because I can't breathe and I'm trying to chew the bar so energy gel is still the best you just gulp the whole thing in no chewing I can't even go fast I wonder if the, I can go fast in the reverse direction I don't know I think in the XT, X3 extended out this way it's acting a lot like a sail pushing me sideways but there's something I have to sacrifice to get a good video okay, have a drink